Good morning everyone! I am back with a normal vlog. I hope you guys liked the last one, even though I looked a bit different. We are in Marbella still. Yeah, a lot has been going on. We've been to Portugal because we're about to launch our own clothing brand. Yay! So I'm wearing it right now, testing it out. <laughs> Anyways, sorry for my little friend in my forehead. He refuses to leave. What's the plan for today? The plan is to try to figure out the balance in life between work, computers, and actually having somewhat of a summer vacation. Yeah, here we have our little studio, but I'm about to do something, uh, yeah, something else. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> so, I'm in the kitchen, and I was planning to do some cooking because I wanna have stuff ready in the fridge, and this week I'm doing a challenge with you, I hope. So I watched a documentary like two weeks ago, I think, and it's called Food Choices. And after that, I just felt that, okay, I have to eat plant-based. I can't eat animal products anymore. And this happened to me three years ago when I watched uh, Cowspiracy. So I became vegetarian for, I think, eight months. But then I started feeling bad, tired, losing hair. So then I started eating fish again. And uh, yeah, that's how I've been eating, like fish, cheese, dairy products. But after seeing this second documentary, I just feel like, okay, I have to eat plant-based because it's the best for the body, the animals, the environment, and everything. So yeah, that's what we're trying this week. And I've been eating mostly plant-based the last two weeks since I saw it. But I've been eating some cheese when I'm out eating and some sauces that we have at home when we cook. So yeah, this week I'm gonna try to eat 100% plant-based. So now I'm gonna prepare some food because it's gonna be so much easier if I have some food ready in the fridge. So I'm just gonna prepare some veggies and some sweet potatoes and stuff like that. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go for 160 degrees. And we actually have two ovens at home in our new kitchen, which I love. And it always sings for me. I will go for the same here. There we go. Okay, let's start with veggies. So I'm starting with cutting up the broccoli and then some garlic because it gives such a nice flavor. And then a lot of sweet potato. I love sweet potato. And then I bought these pre-cooked beetroots that I'm gonna cut up and put on the tray later on when the broccoli has been in the oven for a while. But yeah, on one tray I put the broccoli and the garlic and on one tray I put the sweet potato and then I'm gonna cover it with a lot of coconut oil and then put it in the oven. So it's as simple as that. There we go. What you making? I'm making veggies. Sweet potatoes, broccoli and garlic, and then I'm gonna add the beetroot. I like this vlog. It's a good vlog. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's perfect. Are you on my challenge to eat 100% plant-based this week? Except for your birthday on Friday? We're gonna work in the direction and uh, I'm gonna try. Good. So now this, put some salt and pepper and in the oven. Here we go. Now let's put it in the oven. See you in like 20, 30 minutes. So now I also cut up the beetroots and I'm waiting for the veggies to get finished. But I remember from one like healthy place I went to, they had almost like roasted chickpeas and I think I have chickpeas. I'm gonna try to make that with like cayenne pepper, maybe cinnamon. I don't really know, but I have to Google up a recipe and I have no idea how it's gonna turn out, but I think it could be nice to have something crunchy on top of the veggies. Yeah, I'll show you how I do. But first Google, Google is your best friend. So I found some chickpeas, but apparently it was really important to let them dry. So I just put them under cold water. And I'm gonna put them on paper. Oh wow, this is gonna be hard with one hand. Oh no, drop one. And then I'm just gonna spread it out. It's probably not as good to make it with paper, but that's all I have right now. You make them dry so they're not wet. And then you put them on a tray, add some olive oil, not too much. I'm gonna add coconut oil, hopefully that works too. And then just like do this. Sorry for the cooking show, guys. That was unexpected and I didn't really plan it, but I just thought, why not? There we go, and then I'm gonna put some salt and then in the oven for like 30 minutes, I think. I'm gonna keep track of them though. So yeah, in the oven and then I will let you know how they look. I think it's done. 
putting our new nice super ovens to good use. Right? Here's another one. Yeah, so this plate is done. This one's done. Now I'm just roasting the chickpeas and I made a sauce of tahini. But now I want it to cool down because I like to eat cold food when I'm in this hot place. So That's I'm thinking true. about going for a swim. A swim? I'm always down to swim. Yeah, so I'm let's go swim and then we dig into this. I miss the fish, you know. Okay. And then we eat. I'm hungry. Yeah, you want them to be able to smell it, right? Can you smell it? It's really good. They're what we call the nice plates. Exactly. So you can come over here so I can show them. So I made a sauce with tahini, lemon, garlic, and water. And it smells mighty good. I've never tried it. So, and then I got this last time we were at the, there's like a super organic store here. And they had this, which is, what do they call it? N nutritional yeast or something. So it almost smells like Parmesan. And you just pour it over your food and it gives you like vitamins and stuff, I guess. The plate, I'm gonna do this. Are you ready for your first plant-based meal? Well, I've had a couple, but not this professional. Okay, so we start with some kale. I'm gonna walk over here. I'm putting this on top here. You are totally taking the whole thing, uh, the, the wife, uh, housewife thing, seriously. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm gonna add some. I put cinnamon and cayenne pepper. I have no idea if it's good, but I think I took them out too quickly. So they're not super roasted, but whatever. And then we add some with this. Okay, and I'm just gonna do this. Drizzle it. I think this is good to like put it in a bowl and stir it around with the sauce. But then it's not as pretty. Exactly. Like that. And then this. Ta da! Mm. Mm. I can give this a little bit of food, food critiquing uh, testing. Should I film you? It looks pretty. Let's see. Let's make sure we get a little piece of uh, everything here. You want more oil on it or anything? No, it's actually delicious. Yeah? And that's coming from a pepperoni pizza hamburger, hamburger loving guy. This looks really good for your body. Healthy. Yeah, it does. Like very colorful. I think it's the kale that I like. Was it kale? Yeah. That's the only thing I didn't cook. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I like that type. Okay. Job well done. Bon Fantastic. appetit. And that was it from Yanni's cooking school for this time. <laughs> More cooking schools, if you ask me. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. So, we are ready to go to the store. And this is my outfit. I'm wearing a pink dress from Storet. Pink shoes from Superga. They're pretty old. I think I bought them like two summers ago. And my petite douche bag in black. But now Yoni's screaming, so I have to go. We're going to the store, and you get to come along. I'm in the vlog. Oh, he wants to be in the vlog. I feel excluded. <laughs> oh my god. I was gonna say. Come out in the sun. Oh, should we go and put them on dry clean? This right here is a dirty bag with some seriously dirty clothes inside. Yes. More precisely, a wedding dress and a wedding tux. Yes. 
And we've been saying that we should clean these or give them to the dry cleaner for a long time. So we should do that now? I think so. Yep. That's what I wanted to ask. Okay, let's go. Perfect. Hummus, and then they put like if you're vegan, it's good. And then I found these mini hamburguesa. Yeah, I'm thinking we buy these and try them, and then if we like them, we buy more. And then we bought soy yogurt, and then we're gonna buy a lot of vegetables and brooms. Yeah, that's it. That's my responsibility. Et voila! That's our uh, stuff. That's our stuff, and we're almost out of battery, so. Uh, See you at home. See you at home. Coffee. So we are back home again and I have a battery on my camera. And I'm about to change because we are going for a walk with Maxi during sunset. So I'm about to change to workout clothes. But I thought while I'm up here I should show you guys my wardrobe. Because so many of you have been asking about it. So here we go. So I built all this. This is like the only thing we have in the house from Ikea. It's super nice to have. This is a temporary solution. I'm gonna like redo the entire wardrobe to like a custom built. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six hangers. So I hang everything. And then I also built this one from Ikea where I have like bikinis. This is a mess. <laughs> I'm usually always organized in here. I have like workout clothes. So we start here. Here I have my little desk with all my sunglasses I have in Spain. And this cool mirror, hi! I love this mirror. And then I have some like extra stuff. By the way, my passport cover, love it. Here I have my makeup mirror. I'm gonna try to light it on. Here we go, so we have lights. Oh wow, super bright. So I have lights and here I have all my like makeup stuff, all my other makeup and here is like my little desk. I love to have everything organized. So here I have some jewelry, more makeup, oh. <laughs> and some more makeup and some more. So yeah, since this is 100% my spot, I can organize however I want, which is really organized. Of course, I have a palm tree, by the way. You guys, oh, flare too. I love palm trees, so of course I had to have one. And here I have a full body mirror. Ciao. And here we have a lot of clothes, some shoes on the ground, and here. That's why I love these clothing racks, because you can have like shoes, and then you can put stuff here. Like here I didn't really organize. And here I have all, most of my new stuff, and then shirts and like colors. <laughs> here I have my white shirts, some colors, and here I have dresses, beach dresses. Here I have party dresses. You have like jackets and sweaters and stuff. Some more comfy clothes and sweaters and then bags, which is really nice. And here I have like crop tops and the shorter sets. So I hang them all here because it's a bit shorter here. So I put two hangers here. So here I have all my pants. Yeah, a steamer and a pineapple. <laughs> and in the middle here I have a poof, uh-oh. So that's it guys. This is my wardrobe. I'm gonna try to back up so I can show you. So makeup, drawer, one station there, another full body mirror, all my clothes, and that's about it. So I hope you guys like to see that. And uh, yeah, just ask me if you wanna see something else. But this is how I try to stay organized in my wardrobe. And I have a lot of clothes as you can see. And it's because I love clothes. But now I'm gonna change into workout clothes and then head out with Maxi. I'm super excited to go for a uh, nice walk during sunset when it's not too hot outside. So let's do that. Maxi! Maxi! You ask me 
go through my nose. Oh, wrong way. Time for a walk. Okay, I'm gonna get this and then we're ready to go. Let's go for a walk. dark outside. We walked pretty late, so it turned into black when we came down to the car. But it was so nice to end the day like that. Now we are pretty tired, or I am. Yeah, me too. And Jon is my flash at the moment. Yeah, I'm the light guy. But yeah, this I would say this was a typical day in Marbella. I didn't really vlog anything about work, but we've been on the computers for a bit. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you soon again. And hopefully my friend won't be here next time. Because he feels like he's taking over my face at the moment. You're the only one that sees it. Yeah, but it hurts. Like, it's the most <laughs> annoying friend I've ever had in my forehead. Anyways, wait, see wait, you guys wait, soon. Wait, before you end. I couldn't help but getting that flashback with um, the special Yanni. So, yeah. So, yeah. Did I say that? <laughs> oh, my God. See you guys soon. Ciao. You want to say ciao? Ciao. Ciao.